Well, so definitely you know that we have a very big game at stake here. Uh, the new Cape Coast Stadium. Quality of performances perhaps you expect from both sides. But uh, it is an atmosphere that you definitely wouldn't want to miss. It is an atmosphere that you obviously want to be part of. Well, another set piece. Goes through the 80 yard box for United. Brings it back in play. Ow! Oh, that hidden! The goal falls and comes back in play! But that was the moment that the Cole United thought they had scored. Uh, that's another clear cut opportunity there again. I bet the but the boss Mohammed. He's very agile and very smart. He probably wouldn't really give him that opportunity to do so, but he is one of the best players. Well, as well, Kateo by Alexis Santi. Oh, Makina Ampedu with a chance now. Makina Ampedu can he score? And blasting it away. But what a chance again for Cole United. They simply have had some chances, and again, they need to really take that time and get the goal. Of course, he's looking to play more. Well, that is another Thunderbolt. And hitting the disciples and back into play again. Lovely pass on the right hand side. This is exciting to see a Cole United on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, this try wouldn't come in a coach down so. Oh, lifted in. And eventually he has to be headed out. And now Hamza Mohammed. It is now a bad negotiate. Inside the box and approaches effort and this time he just couldn't well it's Yao Ano but himself who had to run it deep into the box too. And again it's been a lazy approach at keeping things and it's man who just missed that opportunity and he eventually would have to find out what will be happening. That's a very interesting year for the Chief United. Yao Ano missed the chance. And some seconds later, he redeems himself with that blistering strike. And Manu Zakari has himself, he knows that the team is in to win the festival where ever since they came to the Premier League in Ghana. Long. This is a <laughs> glorious moment for Yao Ano. And indeed, a picturesque performance. Zakari has knew that they have to be ready for any plot by Ibrahim Maria's side. That's another ball inside the box, and goalkeeper sometimes panicking in terms of getting it for the first time. You know, Asimpa keeping it easy. Uh, well, that could be Makina and Peru. Well, Oko United, Akoto Danso has equalized. You never write them off. They always will come back, and they come back and hit you hard. Oko United, they won't sleep, they woke themselves up. And they have knocked on the door. It is 1-1 and game on. You know, he had played well in league games and deserved to start, but couldn't live up to expectation. Sabet Negotete. And this could be the test. They can go here. And that is it for the Chem United. He's on a double. <laughs> Yao Ano silencing the Cole United again. Boy, you need the goals. There's a cup final. You know, at the end of 90 minutes, we'll turn to the scoreboard and find out what's been happening. And the crowd here, rooting for Co United, you know, have, you know, the crowd has been mummed. It's Yao Ano who wants a hat-trick. And eventually he's able to give the ball away to Alexis Sante. But it is Bechem United looking for the third. Abednego Tete is kind his effort. You know, but the defenders there went to sleep. And disappointed fans of Oko United. They really came into this game with all the strategies and all the beliefs there. But that opportunity really goes to Bechem United. Historically, they have done it. It definitely would have to come and it has to go to the bottom half of region. It's Bechem United, eventually the 2015-2016 MTN FA Cup champions. They have played their hearts out. They have qualified to play the Cup Confederations Cup. They started the journey very much interestingly, beating Kumasi Asante Kodoko as well. And eventually when they had to play against Wild Rockets in the first half, it wasn't really an exciting time, but 
the latter late to win it and qualify to the finals yeah but two quick goals there from Yao Ano meant that at least Bechem United had to beat Oko United and this is the third time the scoreline had to make 2-1 in the FA Cup